I am Anil Kumar and here is another very popular question from Factor Theorem. This sometimes is seen as a bonus question in the test papers. I am Anil Kumar. I like you to copy the question, try it out and then look into my solution. We need to factor the expression a b x q plus a minus 2 b minus a b x square plus 2 b minus a minus 2 x plus 2. Let us write this as a function f of x equals to a b x q plus a minus 2 b minus a b x square plus 2 b minus a minus 2 x plus 2. Now to factor this, let's try factoring using the factors of 2 which are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2, right? Let's not get into complications of dividing them by a's and b's, but we can definitely try plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. So let us try the value 1 first. So what is f of 1? So if I write 1 for x, I get a, b. Here if I write 1, I get plus, let me write down this, a minus 2b minus a, b. And here we get plus 2b minus a minus 2. And we already have 2 here. Now let us see what do we get as a result. Now plus 2 minus 2 cancel out and we have minus a and plus a that cancels out. Plus 2b and plus 2b cancels out and ab and ab cancels out, right? So basically we get f of 1 as 0. What does that mean? It means that x minus 1 is indeed factor of this expression, right? So what we can do now here is that we can do long division and find the other factor. We'll divide by x minus 1 and the term here is a b x q plus a minus 2 b minus a b x square plus 2 b minus a minus 2 x plus 2, right? x minus 1, let's take the first two terms we need to multiply by a b x square. So we'll multiply by a b x square. The first term will be a b x cube and the second term will be minus a b x square, right? Now let's take away this term and see what do we get. Now first term cancels out. When you add this or subtract this from here, you get a, there's only one term with a b. So first is a minus 2 b, so we get a minus 2b and this minus abx squared and minus abx squared cancel out right so we have this times x squared let's bring down the next term which is 2b minus a minus 2 times x now we need to multiply by a minus 2b right x so when you multiply by that you get a minus 2b x square minus a minus 2b x. Now let, let's take this away. So that term is 0. When you take away uh, 2b and that is plus 2b, that becomes 0. This is minus a minus a cancel out. You are left with minus 2x, right? So we are left with minus 2x. Let's bring down plus 2 now. So when you bring down 2, you can now multiply by plus 2 rather, I'm sorry, minus 2, because this is minus. In that case, we get minus 2x plus 2, which is indeed 0, as expected, correct? So what we get here is factored form. So we could write f of x as x minus 1 times abx squared plus a minus 2b x minus 2, right? So that is what we get. Now, let me write this as f of x equals 2. So we have already factored it as x minus 1 times. This is the quotient for us, which is a b x squared plus a minus 2b times x minus 2, right? So that is the factored form of the given expression. Now, in this particular expression, this is a quadratic equal expression, right? So you see 
abx square plus a minus 2bx minus 2 is a quadratic expression. To factor this expression, what are we looking for? We are looking for two numbers whose product should be, let me write down here, whose product should be, let's write down, p and q. We are looking for a product of minus 2 times ab minus 2 ab, right? That is the product, right? Minus 2 times ab and sum of the two should be a minus 2b, correct? Now what you realize is that when you multiply a minus 2b, then you get minus 2ab. Do you get the idea, right? So basically, the two p and q should be a and minus 2b, right? So if I use a and minus 2b themselves, then on multiplication, we will get a times minus 2b, right? So when you multiply them, you get minus 2ab. And when you add them, you get a minus 2b, correct? So that means they can help us to factor the given equation, right? So we will actually replace these, we'll expand this and then combine and solve for factoring. So what we have here is abx squared. So let's open this up. We have plus ax, right? So we have plus ax minus 2bx minus 2. So if you group factor this, we have ax common in the first two terms. So ax times bx is remaining here, plus 1. And here we could take 2 common. So if you take 2 common, you get bx plus 1. And now bx plus 1 can be taken common, right? So we have bx plus 1 as common. We are left with ax minus 2. So the second term, which is a quadratic function, could be factored like this. Now using this factoring, we could now write our answer. And we can write the function f of x as equals to x minus 1 times bx plus 1 times ax minus 2. And that is how we can fully factor the given expression. I hope you find it interesting. I'd like you to go through this video once and then understand how we really factored the given expression. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.